folks, Ariel over here at Five Myth, where I'm answering a question we get asked pretty often around here is, how do you split your firewood? Do you have a log splitter? The answer has always been no, and if you're one of the regular longtime followers of this channel, you've watched lots of me splitting firewood for that tiny house stove by hand, which I actually really enjoy. But I've also always said that we've talked about getting one eventually, because someday we'll both be older, and that would be nice. Anyway, so we've kind of been keeping our eyes open for if a good one appeared. And the other day I was running errands for something totally different. And saw one that was pretty much fit the description of what we wanted. And it was pretty reasonable price. I think it was maybe some old stock and the store hadn't updated their prices to the current price. Anyway, so we picked up a log splitter. It's pretty exciting. We first tried it just before where you're watching now, um, sitting in the horizontal position, which is fine with smaller logs. But as you can see, we've got some pretty big rounds here that are pain to pick up. So um, we both decided we do indeed prefer using it in this position. Um, I've split Oh, probably between Clay and I are doing stuff for other people. We've probably split a hundred cords or so in the last bunch of years for various other people in situations with a log splitter that's at his job, not not that was ours. And doing this, you know, on the ground position is uh, is just more comfortable for both of us. So we had to give this a good test run. It was a sunny day and the snow is melting fast in the sunshine, but it was still pretty chilly. Even working on firewood, we were cold, but we gave this thing a good workout, and we always enjoy having time to work together and do stuff like this and get the uh, get a bunch of wood split up. Now, you'll notice this is bigger chunks of wood than go in the tiny house stove. Um, I've still split up that stuff by hand. It's just, uh, it, it doesn't require the force of a log splitter to uh, and do that, and uh, if you don't forget to turn on the start uh, switch, then uh, your engine fires up on their first pull. Anyhow, um, but these longer logs, a uh, bunch of them are just going in that savings account of firewood for the future. Some have been going in the shop. We have a bigger wood stove that you've probably seen in the in clay shop, and so it uh, takes a much larger chunk than the tiny stove does. And then a bunch are just going into our savings account for the future, because if we do get to build a little house someday, it's also going to have a stove that takes a bigger than seven inch stick of wood inside it. And um, so we're just building up a an account for that whenever we have time to work on this. So it was fun to get to, to put this log splitter through its paces. It seems to be a really uh, good little machine. It runs on a little Honda motor there, which uh, should last us a very long time, like probably the rest of our lives. So you get to watch us give it a test out. And now we got a, an option of having a little more ease and luxury around the homestead for one of the projects that we'll probably be doing a lot of for many, many years to come, I hope. So I thought you guys would enjoy watching us work on that. And if you're curious, this is a black diamond brand, uh, 28 ton log splitter. Uh, my review so far would be it, uh, it seems to work great with everything we ran through it. I tend to not prefer to really review equipment till I've used it over a long term, like many months to many years. So check back and you'll find out if we're still happy with it. But uh, first day of splitting a bunch of wood with it, it ran really great and we're quite happy with that. And I'm always happy when Clay has a day when he can come uh, and we can, you know, work on things together because like the running chainsaw, I can do it. I got my little 18 inch one and I'm fairly handy with that, but it's not my favorite thing to do, to be honest. I'd rather split wood than uh, do the sawing. It sure beats chewing and through it with my teeth. Um, so I'm very grateful for the existence of a chainsaw, but I prefer when uh, Clay can... And, and he likes doing it. He's done so much of it. He's so good and so fast. And going through those bigger logs, I can't handle the uh, the size of saw needed to go through them. That's just a little too much for me to control well. So it's great when he can do that. And, and then we both get to uh, split firewood because either one of us can run that splitter with no problem. But he was putting it through all its paces here. And you can see even going through a a pretty good size round like that it has no problem and went like a hot knife through butter even through some fairly sizable nut knots now of course this is pine that's what we've got in our area we don't live in a place that grows oaks and maples and all those hardwoods so that's something to to know if you 
uh, haven't been, you know, following along life here. We are in the Wyoming mountains where what grows is pine for many, many miles. There's, there's nothing else around really. So that's what we're doing here. You can enjoy our afternoon of uh, working and you can just watch. We hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for more adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.